Welcome back to Let's Play L.A. Noir. We're gonna head to Celine's apartment and see what the hell's going on. If my partner decides to come out here, come on, finish. Holy crap! Finish Valley it. parking was so much more exactly useful in the going. 1940s because your car's fixed. No kidding. Valet parking plus uh, body repair. All for a nickel. You find the booze Jeez, helps you get through it's expensive nickel. Sharp is my investigatory instinct. So now Phelps is like, you know, Rusty, you drink an awful lot on the job. And he's like, hey, I've seen some shit, so don't you fuck with me. He's not that drunk. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you, Phelps. No, you well, I mean, when you're in a job like this, and... We owe it to this yeah, city. I can I can kind of see why you go into not heavy drinking, but at least therapeutic drinking. Yeah, enough to take the edge off, so I can at least look at the sun and go, "It's a nice day outside," without mm -hmm. thinking too hard about it. Now, what I'm really interested in is the drinking habits of the uh, the coroner. Guy who has to deal with all those dead bodies. Yeah, he stores rum bottles inside of cadavers. Okay, wasn't gonna go there. Galloway. I never claimed to be able to I was just thinking maybe he likes some like a, a stiff strong salt. drink just the chief just comes in it's like oh how's it going it's like uh bus God, you know brother, school bus crash you know eight dead children it's like oh you holding up that. okay I'm fine and the chief leaves and then he just pulls a freaking Bacardi bottle out of some dude's chest just <laughs> <laughs> good god anyway lighten things up a little bit we're going, oh, we're going to the RKO tonight. Uh, no, we're going uh, to Celine's apartment, her house. Oh, okay. The Henry the residence. Ah, Hen oh, the Henry residence, yes. I'm waiting for one of these lines to be, I bet we can solve this case before lunch. Let's go, Rusty. Uh, we're, no, it's going to take at least like two weeks before we figure anything out. I mean, I mean, I then again, the first 48 so. hours after a murder are the most important. The back door. Wait here right. A second. <gasps> He's going to run. So something's going on in here. He's, He's not gonna answering. Run. We're gonna check the back door. Is he in there? Is anybody in there? Hello? Uh... Oh! Uh -oh. Mm. oh no! Is the husband dead? Oh no! Yeah, this is probable cause, alright. Oh! No answer. You know... Oh. Window, window's broken in. We can probably come in now. It's uh, this is okay. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, let's take a look around dead. then. Let's no, see. don't let the husband be dead. Then the plot thickens. One thing in particular I'm looking for though to start off. Ooh, goggles. Don't think this is anything. <laughs> well, I mean, she was a flyer, but not important. I think it's important. It could have been a a scorned pilot who didn't take too well of her getting married and retiring. It's like, wait, 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 Celine! <laughs> she get killed by the Red Baron? <laughs> ah, here it is. Ah, look at that. Another newspaper. Family burnt to death. Cops say a house fire. Deaths are suspicious. What the hell? Husband, wife, two young children killed. No! What does this have to do with our, you know, Dr. Harlan Fontaine, Courtney Sheldon story? I mean, that well, could be Courtney's corpse that's charring on the side of the road. Well, I'll tell you. Doctor, the fires are cathartic. They allow you to <clears throat> confront your past. That's terrible. Shit, the house would be empty. That's terrible. So he... Oh, terrible. He hired a hitman. No, he, he uh, sent a guy who is suffering from, oh. you know, I gotta set things on fire. So he's been pumping him full of drugs, and says, You can't help yourself, you have to go set a house on fire. So he points him to that one, and then he's like, You told me the house would be empty. Oh, that's terrible! He's trying to go, Oh, it ain't no big deal. You said the house would be empty! Man, now that guy's probably gonna get the chair. Mm-hmm. Well, Good one, Doctor. Dr. Harlan, dumbass! Well, that's was it a setup? That's nothing. Anyway, back to it. That was our fifth newspaper. We've got a few more left to go. Quite a few left to go. 
And we got some more clues to search for around Let's here. See. Let me see. Oh. Uh, ah, shoe. A shoe. Uh, size nines. Above average for a lady. Hmm. Cole Phelps is fascinated by female shoes. It's like, like they, they wear these? Like, where does, the, where does the rest of the foot go? She got a big foot. The burglar used a pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm going to climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming. 30 whole dollars. <laughs> Whew. Oh, come Inflation's on. Inflation's a bitch. I broke $30 just on the way over here. All right, so if you sober up, you can find me at apartment 2, 1050 Huntley Drive. To... Obviously having problems. So. It speaks to motive. Mm, that's where, that's where the husband is right now, at this uh, hotel or something. Jacob could give us something yeah. to go on. One of my after's drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. So it sounds like get technical services the ex... Or not, not the ex, what are you talking about? Sounds like Celine has been drinking a lot. Jacob didn't like that too much. And they fought a lot. Maybe that's why... That's why they're both not here. Well, she's not here because she's dead, but maybe that's why she went out <laughs> drinking last night. It's like, I just need a man to get me away from my stupid husband. Give me what I want. A lint roller! I think. Garbage! Oh, Still that. the lint roller! Something else in here, though. Aha! Ooh. Uh-oh, the ring! Is the ring in there? No! no! Tiffany. But it's from Tiffany! This stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. Because the rest of the stuff isn't really all that worth much, but the Tiffany ring, oh, that's a lot. Mm-hmm, that's expensive. Alright, so we gotta do one more thing. We gotta go to the neighbor's house. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, perfect timing. They just got home. See if there's any sort of domestic disputes, if they hear any arguing or whatever. I mean, it must be bad if the house is a fucking wreck and, you know, she's out of the house. Hello. Excuse me, miss. I need to talk to you. Miss, I need to talk to you. LAPD. Are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Mrs. Horgan. Jennifer Horgan. I've known Celine for more than ten years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well... I'm no busybody, you understand. Yes, yes, you are. Don't even deny it. Celine had been drinking, and she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob. This actress looks familiar. I'm looking her up. He stormed out, and she went back inside. Audrey Wasilewski. No, Celine was listening mm. to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very oh, drunk. Oh, that's Tuck. Morning. But she is not the sort of person you can stop Tuck? doing. Tuck from My Life as a Teenage Robot. robot. She's the younger is brother. Officer, is all right? Holy shit! Well, Get that Nate. Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh my god. Damn, but that's good facial capture. Go yeah, it is. Woo! Yeah, it really holds up today. I hope they make... That's some talent! I hope Rockstar makes better use of this. In an age where the Fox engine is in the wrong hands, we need Team Bondi's facial <laughs> capture to be in the right hands. If, That's right. Let's let's see Red Dead Redemption see Two with this kind of graphics. I mean, if Bondi wasn't Jake already dead, but, man, but we see what he no, well, I mean, uh, uh, rip in peace. Where to next? Well, now we're gonna head. Uh, we're gonna probably head to the uh, hotel room where Jacob is at. Yes, the apartment where Jacob Henry is at right now. Awesome. But you can drive. Now, actually, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to turn off the radio. I cannot find a way to turn off the radio. I tried, I tried all the buttons, I tried all the D-pads, I tried all the... I can't figure out how to turn off the fucking radio! Oh, that means we need to talk over the radio. Whoa, okay. Yeah, uh, can you actually tell people about what happened during, uh, for one of our recording sessions? Alright. Regarding music? So, uh, during that second DLC episode, uh, probably our, yeah. probably our first, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were we were interviewing one guy, and uh, the footage that I used to upload to YouTube on my other account, so we can talk over this, the unlisted footage, was copyright identified, oh. and you know that, ha that happens. Whoa! Just go easy, Phelps. <laughs> okay, you were saying? Oh, well, uh, this this car is dead. Shit. Long story yeah. long story short, uh, the footage got audio captured or uh, you know audio identified. And it was blocked in seven countries, including the U.S. 
So that So yeah, we couldn't talk over it. So then I had to remove the song. Which left uh, like a, a you know a two three minute gap of silence in between. So we yeah improvise yeah I'm sure what they're saying is really important. <laughs> Whoa! Look at that music they're playing. Hey, we made it to the apartment. It's a nice apartment. Jeez. Oh, he's got the gun out. He's gonna run. Do do. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your he wife. He looks like Celine. a guy I would beat murder. up and condemned. <laughs> Celine saved the dramatic oh my god. RKO, pal. Oh you my god! Know. My wife got killed! I don't what believe it! What are you talking about? You, Not you my wife! Me, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. She's, We're gonna have a look around. Celine is... Guillon. Oh, no, nah, didn't work. Ah, uh, don't beat yourself up about it. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I know you got a. I know this is a big headache for you, but it's a, it's a bigger headache for Celine, I think. It's a real ringer. <laughs> Ever seen Big Lebowski? Yes. Whoa! <laughs> what the hell? He must have wrote something <laughs> on the memo pad by the phone. What? <laughs> Okay, I did not expect that. I thought you were going to start drawing a picture a la Duke Nukem. Mm-mm. No, you're just tracing over the indents in the paper. Yes, it doesn't quite work like this, but, you know, we'll give him that. <gasps> I need you to do something about my wife! Hmm, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound good. Hopefully that's, you know, with good intent. Like, uh, you know, can you drive her home for me? Well, that's something I definitely want to ask him about. Got a couple mm -hmm. more things in here. This is the bedroom. But this, oh, this is the most eight. damning piece of evidence. Size 11. As in, it, he's definitely not the murderer. Yeah. Too big a foot. That's, that's the kind of shoe size I have. But at the scene, a, a shoe print of eight was found. But let's right. let's interview him just in case, because you know he should be around. I mean, it's, it's, it's a pretty delicate situation. A bar, I suppose. That was a great question you asked there, Cole. Look, <laughs> I'm sure he really oh, felt no. it. You lying fuck. You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. <laughs> Why would I help you if you keep lying to me? Slam your hands <laughs> Look, on the table. I'm Liar! Telling you, I don't know. Actually, he does. We know she went to the Bomba Club. The bartender there. He, he calls me if things are getting out of hand, and I go and I bring her home. Do what you can, I, I suppose. Last night. I said no. Oh. Oh. Why? Phone rang a couple more times after that. I ignored it. I'm gonna have to live with that. Yeah, you will. Book him. <laughs> Go into the gas chamber, wife, son. So when did you last see her? Last night. Uh, I went to see her. We talked. talked. Things got a little out of hand. I got left. a little out of hand. Okay. A lot of I screaming, I bet. But you're lying That's still. Lying, you know it. You tailed her, watched her come out of a bar, and then beat her to death. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's like, why the fuck would I do that? Why would I murder? The actual look of annoyance on crazy. his face was priceless. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Oh man! Look, I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. All right. Mm -hmm. She died between later. 10 and t midnight. Right yeah, night. later in the later in the evening, later in the night. But what about your motive? Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. <sighs> That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. Except you did. I... You didn't answer the call. That's a liar. You gave up. You gave up so hard. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else. Oh, I love that little dramatic zoom it had there. Up with something, big mouth. Oh. oh! <laughs> But now we're gonna we got something to back that up. We're gonna bring yeah, out that death threat. The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. But not truth? really. 
truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. So he wanted something to be done about her, about his wife, right paper, but, but not dead. But I want to get her help. I want to send her to a hospital so she can stop her fucking drinking. Wife? It's it's you tearing our family apart. I didn't want to kill her. No. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Bam. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to punch the... <laughs> you son of... Uh, uh, all right. Uh, uh, Oh, oh, yeah, oh, uh, yeah. I know you're grieving, but fuck you, buddy. I mean, what'd you expect, Rusty? Moron? So this is a trophy for winning a fight without getting your hat knocked off. Oh, yeah? But my hat got knocked off at the very last punch. Oh! Not enough, like, enough for it to trigger as it being knocked off, but it came right back on my head as the fight ended, so, well. Of course. Now I gotta find the phone. Where's that at? It's just... okay, this is a weird kitchen you've got here, buddy. It's... Where's the phone? Somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. <sighs> I wonder how, how she can help, detective. Jesus, so, yeah, they they got it down to a science, you know, we gotta take it back to the time period, along with all the annoyances that came with it. I would love to hear, like, you know, watch a movie about the operator girls of, like, the 40s and all that. You know, because men did all the big, big fancy jobs, like construction yeah, and cops, yeah. and the women had, all, like, all the clerical work, and I'd like to hear about their stories a bit more, you know? Like a Papers, Please sequel or something like that. No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. What? Ooh. Oh, she get hit by a car? Nope. Oh, she got stomped to death. She got dragged out of the car and just beat to death like hard fucking gore. Thanks, Doc. She got sodomized a little tiny bit, but nothing that led to, you know, any sort of sexual assault, but... Any word on an owner for that vehicle? Fucking hell. But as for that vehicle... TB-899? Yes, Detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Mm -hmm. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Book him. Thanks. So Alonzo Mendez. Another guy we should one talk to. Detective from Captain Donnelly. Ooh. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Ooh. Got it. We're coming in. So we could do one of two things. We can go down to the police station and interrogate him some more if we really think that he did it. Or we can go down to this Mendez guy and see what he's up to. Yeah, yeah, yeah but he, I like that. But he punched an officer. Yeah. We're going to let him sweat for a little while. You drive. Okay. We're going to go to Mendez's apartment now. Bye. Sweet. And I'll have him at? drive me too. So that way it goes faster. I don't hurt anybody. We wrapped this case up quickly. Radio the radio doesn't play while it's going on. Ah! Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. <laughs> Ten wives and counting. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're going to get. Yeah, a backhand, apparently. <laughs> Jesus, Galloway. Yeah, women are... Yeah, yeah. The broads love me. Well, I tell them that they're worthless and they love me. You know, that's how it works, right? That is not how it works, no. I mean, absolutely no, absolutely, no, absolutely no. not. Especially these days, it does not work. I mean, they've only been voting for not even 30 years at this point, so I think a lot of the older guys are like, yeah, I don't like the fact that women have voices in this world. Probably not this guy either, I bet you. Apartment 16. So, part of 16. Alright, time to bust down doors and come in firing. First, we gotta go all the way to the fucking fourth floor. On the fourth floor. Two. On the fourth floor. Three. Oh, God, a good thing this isn't a European apartment, otherwise you'd be going up five floors. Four. There we go. And there's the gold handle that we need. Ah, boom! <coughs> anyway. 
Ooh, hey, did you hear that? Check it. What? <laughs> Seriously? I think this is an important place to be. Yeah, I think so. Where's the guy? Hmm, good question. Looks like this place has been roughed up a little bit. Oh, well, we got... Ooh, something in here. And... Ooh! Oh, no! Oh, no! What do we got here? Oh, no! A used oh, lipstick. Oh, dear. And then what do we got here? A rebar. Yeah. He a bad man. The blood can be tied. Oh, oh no! Yeah, he did it. Yeah, he did it. Oh, where is he? And there was one clue that we missed that I didn't. I didn't think that this clue would trigger the next scene. But there was also one clue that we missed in the other room. You know what that was? No, what was that? A size eight men's shoe. You're under arrest. This is our guy. Yep, running. What, what a guilty man run! What a guilty man run! Get him! Mendez, stop right For some there. reason, I knew this was ending in a chase. Let's go. Tackle him! <laughs> Look, if you want to be a criminal, you got to be a parkour expert. Tackle him! Da <laughs> Kick him down the stairs! <laughs> Can I just shoot him in the leg? Oh, oh, oh! This isn't as bad as what you did to Celine, you sick son of a bitch! Come on! Right, so oh god, I thought you were gonna jump. <laughs> slide down the pole here. Ow, he, ow, he ow, gets ow, in his ow. car. <gasps> our, All boy, right. our boy oh. Rusty's got us, though. Oh, our boy! So here we go. In the car. Here we go. And, uh, but where'd he go? Uh oh. Shit, did he? Mini map. Oh, mini damn, map. damn it, what? what mini, map. Uh, mini map. Mini uh, map. Mini map, get out of the way! No. You're not gonna lose him, I still see where he went. Oh god, he's go, going to go, the mini go, map. Go, 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 oh, box truck. Where'd he go? I'm losing it. Oh wait, he's appearing on the minimap again. Oh, I, oh, there we go. I got him. All right, so make a right, then make and another and make a right turn and, and so he makes it to. Oh well. Oh no. All right. Well, that's it. He's gone. He's lost. Celine's death is forever unavenged. He goes free, and we get to the next case. See you next time, and let's play LNOR. Get the hell back here. We're not done with this. He's right there. He's right there. I can see him. All right, fine, you win. Let's do it God for real. It. Yes. Him, Cole. Now that Cole's not taking two hours to get into his car, we can just drive right after him. Go, get him! Get him! Uh, then he turns right, yes. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. oh, well. And then he... Jesus. Oh! oh. He, he went the oh. Oh. <laughs> Nice Clean jump! The the we got a, oh, well. We got a few more crazy jumps coming our way, you know. If he's going on this fucking dirt road. Oh, knock him off the idea. dirt road. So now Rusty's going to try and shoot out his tires. I wonder how good of a shot this uh, three-finger rye-drinking son of a bitch is. Let's find out. So Don't go to sleep, get alongside him. You can floor. just start shooting at... Oh. 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 oh! Looks like he got one of the tires, though. Wow. Yeah, look, he got he got his uh, passenger rear tire. Or his, uh, his driver tire. rear tire. Wish me luck. Nice. All right, I think one more shot ought to do it. If, oh, oh man! What the fuck? One shot, and his car just, just God disintegrated. Damn. I'm gonna make sure he's not getting away though. <laughs> not a care in the world. <laughs> Is this car made of taffy? I don't know, but you you, you put a lot Maybe of stress crackers? on my mind, so. Uh. 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 All right, book the yeah. guy. He's a serial killer. No, he's not. He's just a murderer. You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. So come in this way, and not this way. LAPD. Okay. I love messing with games like that. It's so fun. <laughs> the things you're not supposed to do. The places you're not supposed to see, like the back of a lumber yard. <laughs> So Jacob Henry goes free, you know, probably a slap on the wrist for punching an officer. It's something you should never do. He ain't saying a goddamn thing while well, the evidence speaks for you, buddy. 
Mm-hmm. He's going away for a long time, probably forever. Oh, yeah. I don't even think he's going to be going away. They're going to put him in the gas chamber and then put him away in the ground for a long, long time. Because he's a murderer, Un you know. Until he rises again. <laughs> L.A. Noir undead. Yeah, I'm waiting for the DLC. It's probably never going to happen. It'll never at happen. At this point. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps, that's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. <laughs> Considering the evidence against Cole Phelps is Batman. And the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. So the DA is going to prosecute this bastard, and it's going to be all smooth sailing. The people. So another job well done, Phelps. You don't get to drink, though, because you're such a blue blood. <laughs> What so, an asshole. Sorry, you need to be 21 to drink. Oh, but sir, I was in the war. So, uh, okay, so uh, no injuries, that's a good thing, but uh, it still gets a three star. The suspect is in the bag, even if I did leave Jacob sweating in central lockup. Well, he deserved a sweat. Yeah. That's the end of the, of yeah. the red lipstick murder, and that was our first case in homicide. And now... And now... And now... We're gonna move on to our next case. And our next disc. Ooh. Because this is the 360 version, well, I got the three discs. But, you know, I, I, I like having multiple discs in games. It, it gives a sense of epicness and bigness, you know? It's so, uh, you know, yeah. Next time in LNOR, we're going to be tackling the second disc in the second case of Homicide. <laughs>